What's going on guys? Vic VB back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're gonna to be looking at the free 99 JVL Orion haul slash pickup. I don't know what I got myself into, but it was free. Let's take a look. <laughs> Alright guys, you know the drill, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would be seeing everything, everything behind the scenes. Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me. Also be sure to like and subscribe this video and to my channel. You'll see everything. If you're not following me, what are you waiting for? Go, I say it on all my videos, go follow me. You would have seen the background, you would have seen behind the scenes, you would have basically seen me running no joke running to go pick this thing up i got a basically a notification on facebook somebody was giving this up for free they were about 10 miles out 20 minute drive went out and no joke it was the same day as the super bowl i had family coming over here i do i usually do super bowl here at my house for the family and uh yeah i was cutting it very close basically once i got home it was time to party. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me on all the socials. You would see everything. Go follow. <laughs> Just want to give you guys a quick update. As you can see, the garage is pretty full. I don't know when this video is going to air. I don't know if it's going to air before or after. Talking about this V-pin that I have. Um, if it is after, be sure to go back and see the story on this. If it hasn't, be sure you wait and see the video on this one where somebody sent me their V-pin from Illinois. So there's a lot going on. And again, if you follow me on my socials, you would kind of see the behind the scenes that some of this before this airs. I do try to air and, and post the videos once a week. This way it doesn't overflow and go crazy on it, on, on feeds. But uh, yes, as you can see though, the garage is looking pretty packed. I don't know if you see that right there. The candy crane came back. I don't know if I'm going to make a video on that. This, a lot to talk about we got brad d's bros v pin is i would say it's at the 90 percent point right now all wired up tvs and all are set i got the pc i have to install all the software and then the vinyl and then do my basic testing and configuring for the software but there's a lot i just i love it i love what i do and i get to have fun and this is my life <laughs> but on this one today we're gonna to be talking about this right here i don't even know this right here i'm actually shooting this live uh there's a lot to talk about with this there's a lot going through my mind there's actually a little bit of a backstory to this there's there's a lot going on but basically i have in my hands a jvl orion i'm gonna to have to take a look exactly on like dates when this stuff came out in my opinion, this isn't officially like the slogan, but in my opinion slash what I've researched, this right here is supposed to be or was supposed to be the Mega Touch Killer. I don't know what I got myself into, but the biggest thing to know is that this was free 99. I didn't pay a dime for this. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Let's go through real quick a little bit of the background on this specific thing. Uh, you know, again, I haven't ever had this, but you might be saying background. Just watch this, watch. Now, this is just kind of crazy. And I, I even mentioned it to my neighbor that kind of hangs out with me and stuff. Uh, it's kind of crazy how stuff comes like full circle. Uh, I've mentioned it many times in my past videos. Basically, me, I'm the type where kind of nightly, by daily like, you know, every other night, I'll hop on Facebook Marketplace and I'll look up like an arcade. I have my, my Marketplace search terms like arcade and pinball. Uh, and I'll look through some of the ads. You never know, some of the stuff, you, you find some decent stuff. Me personally, I'm not looking at like arcade caps because obviously I build them. I probably want one specific arcade cab, which would be a Dynamo. Ever since I saw Brad D's, I was like, oh, nostalgia and I love it. But I'll be honest, the ultimate arcade that's back there, that thing is still up for sale. It is there, but it might just wind up going down into the basement. That right there with its 22 or 25 inch CRT is a thing of beauty. And again, I've caught the pinball bug, so I do look at pinball ads and stuff. Um, again, in New York, I mentioned in my live streams, when it comes to pinball and New York, you will not find anything. 
even EMs, you won't find anything under like four grand. Uh, everything is four grand and up by me. So I kind of keep my eyes out. Maybe, you know, somebody's doing a, a, an estate sale or whatever, and I try to hop on it. But even on some of the arcade kind of search terms, you do sometimes find Mega Touches, which if you can see back there, I still have the Mega Touch Jade Edition in the back. That thing is still up for sale. I'll be honest, that Mega Touch, it is great, very nostalgic with the CRT in it, but there are obviously newer versions. So that's kind of why it's still sitting there. I know the value, I wanted to at least get the money back on what I put on it. That's still sitting there. But basically, I went right, this is how we're talking about Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday, I was sitting on the couch, we're getting ready, it's about, I would say, it was five o'clock. And uh, sometimes my, my, my phone on Facebook, it'll actually give me like a notification like, hey, new stuff added to, to arcade search. And I got the notification, I open it up, and sure enough, I see this. And I'll probably post a picture of the ad here and all that. This is the JBL Orion. It is, again, to me, from my understanding, it is supposed to be the Mega Touch Killer. And the biggest thing that caught my eye is that it, said, it had the word free. And obviously, I'm going to click on the ad, and sure enough, it was truly free. What do I mean by that? Sometimes now, Facebook Marketplace kind of sucks. People put the word free, but then if you read the description, they go like, give me the best offer. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Um, but this said free, I'll actually pull up the ad real quick and we'll read the ad together. So as you can see in the picture there, this cabinet is actually on like a dolly. Uh, so I saw that and the, basically the ad says here, Javion Orion arcade machine. That's where like people put the term arcade. That's why it popped up. Doesn't boot up. Issue with the I.O. board, shows error on boot. Must pick up, needs a big SUV slash truck. And I'm like, oh, this is right up my wheelhouse because I have my truck. I messaged the dude, I said, listen, I'm interested, I will come tomorrow. Keeping in mind again, this right now is five o'clock. I had family coming over at 5.45 on the dot and I had to go pick up food because again, this day it's Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, and the guy was like, okay, cool. And I said to myself, I was like, send me the address and I saw that it was 10 miles out, 20 minutes out. And I said to him, I said, you know what, dude? I'm gonna actually hop in the car right now and I'll go pick it up. He's like, fine, awesome, good stuff. My wife and I had my brother over, they're like, where are you going? Like, this is like, you're insane. And I said, I, I, I kind of learned something doing this almost 12, 13 years. Uh, I said to my wife, I said, listen, anytime you see the word free, you jump on it. Don't delay because somebody might beat me to it. I said to the guy, I'll pick it up tomorrow. He's like, okay, cool. But he might have somebody that's like, hey, I'm going to pick it up now. And then he's like, okay, I want this out of my house. Pick it up now. Basically, you know, don't sleep on it. I jumped right in the car. I said to myself, I'm going to go get it. I'll bring it home and then I'll ask questions later. I already know it doesn't boot. I know that there's errors on it. But when you ever, whenever you see the word free, you don't hesitate. You have to jump on it. Uh, again, me personally, I even give away stuff for free, like, you know, furniture and all that. And, you know, I get people like, oh, I'll pick it up tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, cool. But if I get a message 10 minutes later that says, I'll pick it up now, okay, I'd rather give it to the person now. Basically, all in all, if you want a life lesson from me, anytime it says free, you go. Go now and get it. <laughs> Now this is what's cool and kind of like I mentioned before, full circle. I went to this dude's house, it was actually a young kid, I'd probably say it was like in his 20s, uh, early 20s, maybe he was 20. Uh, I pull up, the guy's like, oh, you're here for the, the Orient? I said, yeah, bro, I'll, you know, I even bought my dollies, I always bring my dollies, I'm like, I have a dolly for the one. He's like, no, I already have a dolly, it's a straight shot from the garage, it was like, you know, we had to go through one corner. Uh, and you know, we're walking in and he's like, oh, do you want to see it power on? I was like, no, dude. I already know it doesn't work. We'll just load it up and he's like, oh man, thank you know, thank God you understand. I'm like, yes, in this situation, whenever it's like free and you write there that it doesn't work, why waste time? Just put it in the car. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm not gonna message you when I get home like it doesn't work. It doesn't work, what am I gonna do? So as we're going through his house and I see it, I said to him, I said, listen, man, I actually saw this exact cabinet because this, as you can see right here, you don't see this. This to me is like rare. You, I, I've never seen it as, this doesn't bring nostalgia to me because I've never seen it. But just like this alone, you never see this. So I said to him, I said, I'll be honest, dude, I saw this exact machine. I don't know if it was this one. I said, I, I saw this machine or something like this up on Facebook Marketplace for about six months ago. And he goes, yes, I bought that. That is this. And I was like, oh. And I said to him, I said, now, you know, I said to him, I was like, you know, 
when I saw this on Facebook Marketplace, the guy wanted like 500 bucks and it didn't work. And I remember because I messaged the guy and I said to him, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. And he said, no, fuck off. <laughs> I'm like, all right, again, me, it doesn't work. It's to me, it's like worthless to me. I don't know if I'm going to get this to work. It's worthless to me. I'll take the gamble and try to get it. I don't know. People online like eBay, the sells complete working for like 500 bucks. So I'm like, part of me is like, is it even worth my time? But then it's free. You can't, you can't say no to free. So the kid said to me, yes, I paid. And honestly, the, they said he wanted 500 bucks for it. He said that he paid that. And I was like, oh God, I didn't say that in his face. I was like, oh man, you actually paid 500 bucks and it doesn't work. Uh, he goes, I got it. I bought it home. I thought I could fix it. I wanted to tinker around with it, try to get it to work. And I'm just at a point now where it's just kind of collecting dust on the side. As I'm talking to this kid, his father comes down and he's like, are you, are you here to take this out of my house? I said, yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to pull this out. He goes, thank God, get this thing out of my living room. And I was like, oh, and then that was kind of it. We were just like, all right, dude, let's, let's haul it. This isn't like that heavy. It's honestly, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's got two handles in the back. It's got wheels in the rear. So when you tilt, it goes. That's basically the back story to this. I saw this on Marketplace six months ago, maybe a little bit more. And uh, now I have it for free. That is the biggest thing. It is for free. Now, as we put this in my truck, again, he had it on the dolly. It's, it's literally like a heave hole. I could have done it by myself, but the kid helped me out. That was cool and all. Uh, he, I, I asked, I was like, do you have keys? He goes, no, I actually drilled out the, the keyhole thing here. And I was like, okay, cool. You did what other people would do. They just kind of drill out when they don't have keys. Um, and then I said to him, I said, it looks like you, did, did you get this open? Does this open? And he goes, honestly, bro, I kind of pulled this plastic and I noticed that it doesn't come off and I stopped pulling it. So I, it's kind of crazy. There's no videos on this thing. Nothing at all. Online, on YouTube, nothing. Nobody is talking about this JVL Orion. There's no details at all. I can't even tell. I honestly can't tell if this is a CRT or an LCD. There's glass, obviously, but that's like a touch sensor. I don't know how this thing is. Right now, we're literally doing this live together. I will plug it in. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yes, join me now on this journey of figuring out what is going to happen if I plug this in. Is it going to explode? I don't know. <laughs> let's get ready. Let me grab the power cord and let's put it on. Now, before we actually start trying to, you know, open this up, let's take a quick closer look at it. Again, JVL Orion, more fun at your fingertips. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I would, I would assume that. <laughs> but take a look. The very unique thing, look at that. It's actually got a footrest. I mean, you do some intense touchscreen gaming. Like I mentioned before, he drilled this out. That right there is your regular standard like keyhole. It looks like, uh, I think he said that this, the guy he picked it up was supposed to be a dollar bill acceptor here. You got a bar here. He did tell me though, he opened this up. This is just being held down with like a random nut and a bolt. Um, he said that's what like opens. That's like the only thing that opens on this. Uh, if I take a look at the rear, we do have this. I do see this. You know, I don't want to pull stuff. This is like plastic. I don't want to break it. This is the unique handles. This is pretty cool to see here. But the one thing is this, this is the power part here, but it's actually not bolted in. So I'm gonna have to do this two hands while we put power to it. Uh, again, I, I don't ask questions. Anytime it's free, you just take it. <laughs> you take it and run. Don't ask questions. I'm not gonna say to the guy, oh, why is this not working? It's free. I'm not gonna complain about it. So let me put you back on the tripod and let's boot this up. All right, got the extension cord out. Here we go. Gonna give it power and like I said, this like power bank here, do you even see me? Hello? Yeah, you do. <laughs> this power bank here is like loose. So here we go, three, two, one. Oh, it is a CRT. I heard like the boof. Oh, it's like a mega touch boop. Now again, you know, I, I don't know JVLs, but we take our game seriously, JVL. What's crazy is that like every time I do a mega touch search, this JVL comes up, but I've seen the JVL like bar tops. They're like tabletops, like mega touch has a tabletop. I've never seen a full body JVL one. I don't know anything. I have no idea. While I was driving there, I did Google like Orion IO board. Here we go. 
executing, searching for USB device, creating root, system is being initialized, error, IO board is not found. So let me bring you in close so you guys can see that. Whatever I see, you could see. And yeah, there you go. I'm trying to make sure there's no uh, glare on the screen, but yes, error, IO board is not found. I heard like the CRT like vroom, so there is a CRT in this. I thought this was like a webcam. I don't know, like I said, but from what I've seen, I've seen a couple of pictures. Uh, there's like one or two pictures. Like I said, if you go on eBay, you could actually see like people are selling this. This is like this housing isn't supposed to be this loose. It's actually supposed to be very flush. So I'm like here, you know, when I got home, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I'm thinking like, is this like a mega touch where it kind of like has a hinge? And I don't think it does. I see a metal, like a metal lip here. I don't know, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot going on through my mind, but that's it. This IO board now, is it gonna change? I don't know, the light bulb is here. He did mention to me that there was keys, but he drilled out the key. Maybe there was a key for the rear here. I don't know, but like I said, as I put, as I packed it up into the truck, he just meant to me, he goes, Vic, I just put this bolt here. You, there it goes literally just a screw and a bolt because I took that this came off it's an interesting bracket oh look at that okay interesting <laughs> let me bring you close whoa all right we're gonna turn it off because the speaker's making a noise <laughs> it's not blow up Cool, trying to keep you kind of level so you could join me on this journey. There is no space in this thing. <laughs> oh. I mean, this is pretty cool. Like the coin mag, you see that? Got the coin mag, the coin reject. I see the keys. There is keys here. We got fairway supermarket screws oh oh we have a manual what's this some type of metal computer door base interesting let's take a look at this manual together real quick just before we see it i mean i see the computer here but this is actually this is loose there's a lot of things going on over here. There's a shitload of grounds. Can you see how many grounds there are? <laughs> I'll take you close with my hands. I see a wire loose. Imagine we just got to connect that wire and it works. What is this? Wells Gardner. This is the control board for the screen. I would assume Wells Gardner. That's, that's a monitor, no? This is interesting. This is where I have fun. <laughs> so I'm taking you in my hands. Take a look at this. Look at all the grounds on this screw. Look at this. Two, four, six, seven grounds. All wired to that. Now this is what I saw. Look at that. I don't know if the camera's going to focus good. This right here. Look at this wire. This was out. Imagine if we just plug this in and it works. <laughs> But you can kind of see there, this is an iTouch 10. Uh, again, my camera with this new camera is trying to focus. Let's see. So I don't know if you can see that, it says iTouch 10 setup C10 cache door. But the crazy thing is that this is just loose. Again, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm moving. Again, I feel bad, I'm sorry, the, the camera's trying to focus, but look at this is like loose. I don't even see how you could bolt screws on the back of there, but. I'm assuming this is the computer. There's like nothing going on in here. I gotta get a flashlight. <laughs> now here's what I was talking about here. Take a look at this. So again, this is loose, but I see this one metal bracket right here. Can you see that? There's a metal thing there. It looks like a screw. I don't know. But I'm gonna have to put my hand in, fish around. Let's take a look at the manual real quick. So we're gonna do two things real quick. I'm gonna put this power plug in or whatever it is. It's like a, it's like a four square Molex connector. That was out. I'm gonna plug that in. 
let's reboot and imagine imagine if that is it <laughs> let's reboot real quick while that boots i have the key here there's a thing back here this key does not open the rear so that boot let's take a look at the manual came with it's got like an actual nice like jvl jvl like uh plastic thing it'd be hilarious if this boots <laughs> JVL Perfect 10, I Touch 10, 2007. No, we still got an IO board error, so that's fine. Turn that off. So you got an actual disc, it says Perfect 10. Make sure we can see that. So you can see there the I Touch 10. It's a CD. I, I wonder if there's a CD-ROM in it. MEI installation guide for a bill acceptor. So I guess there was a bill acceptor in it before. Ah, March 2008. Look at that. Let's see if the camera will focus on that. I'll read it. Thank you for purchasing a JVL machine. If you would like to access our operator manual for this unit, you may do so by visiting our customer support page, jvl ent.com. I wonder if that's still a thing. If you require assist, uh, assistance, please contact our tech support. Daniel, Daniel? Yeah, Daniel Vent, Senior Account Manager. Oh, look at this. Enjoy more with iTouch 10 Plus. Thank you for purchasing, which comes loaded with our iTouch 10 Plus series, the 2008 update that will give your players what they've been craving. This machine will be connected to JVL's touch and win, random draw sweet spec. Wow, this tournament. Net challenge, cool. Double quiz sports, double quiz entertainment. Shoot the monkey. Balloonia. Welcome to the whimsical world of the mad scientist. Royal hands, count the fingers, look at that. This is like, uh, <laughs> it's like you stab yourself with the knife. You gotta work on the focus on this camera, I'm sorry. Look at that, count your fingers. Beach Volleyball, Bumper Wars. Wow. So 2008, this is before, I mean not before, this is during Mega Touch. Again, my Mega Touch, the last version is 2014. If anything, this probably came out the same time as that Mega Touch Max I have. If we get it booted, it might be a cool little comparison video, but as of right now, I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> now, basically, we're gonna, I just gotta, I, I wanna see what's up in the rear. Let's see if we can do that. So now, like I said, I found this key inside the cabinet. It doesn't turn it. Not to make sure no one, well, the key doesn't turn, so it doesn't even matter if it breaks. It doesn't turn it, but it looks like somebody tried to play around with it. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> there's a switch here, there's a, there's a bulb here. So somebody actually managed to cut this. See, this is what's very difficult, especially when it comes to these, t what the hell? How did he even get that? Oh, this comes up. This is what sucks, it's like, the plastic is supposed to be like flush. So it's like now everything is like not proportioned right. I don't like the sound of that, I hate that sound. I can see the inside, but there's no like, I can't even tell if there's access. Oh, maybe I just have to take this off and this whole thing comes out. I don't know. I don't want to bore you guys. I'm going to probably work on this real quick and then I'll come back. Uh, either way, we'll do a conclusion, but I now, my mind is racing now, so I'll be back. <laughs> well, no lie, like five minutes after I just stopped, we're at this point. <laughs> this is, uh, it's interesting. 
Uh, it really wasn't that bad. Basically, up here there's two screws, and um, the the marquee came off. Look at that. So marquee came right off with ease. I could probably at least clean it a little bit. Then there was a speaker panel. It's actually module. It goes right here. Basically had to lift up a little, came right out. There is a quick disconnect here. Pretty big speakers on this, beefy. There is no camera here. I thought there was a camera here. Um, after that, basically right on the top here was four screws that hold this in place. Once I got those four screws out, there was another five screws here, no four, and uh, this. This is basically like, uh, you basically put it in and then it sits in. And now we're at this point, I could remove the coin door. Basically like there's like, uh, you know, there's wires going on here. There's so many wires here. But this is dollar bill and coin door. There's a, there's like a, I don't know, like a VGA connector here that says cash door. But in all honesty, there's nothing else in this cabinet. It's right, I can see the, 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 uh, the um, ooh, there's actually a micro touch controller in the rear. Oh, I didn't see that before. So there is a touch screen controller, just like a mega touch. There's a micro touch controller back there. And then we do have the CRT. It is a CRT. That means that everything computer gaming wise is on this. Interesting. Uh, yeah, there's your quick update. <laughs> um, having this off is not really saving me anything. If anything, it's worse with me having this off. There's nothing at the base. Nothing's here. Nothing. I'm basically going to just remove the computer now. This is interesting. It's the PC. I'm going to let me take this out. Just want to give you guys an update. Interesting. Again, it's got a micro touch controller in it, just like a mega touch. Interesting. So take a look at this that I just discovered. Look at this. See the CN10? Do you guys see anything wrong here? <laughs> is it they, these are these are flipped? I don't know what this is, but I did discover that, and actually, that's going that way. I thought it was going to the coin door. It's not. Imagine if that's the problem. <laughs> Man, let's see. I do notice this though. Look at this. There is two wires here. We're still playing. All right, guys. So I got the computer out. It is. This is the actual computer. I mean, compared to a mega touch, this thing is. This is like micro than micro ATX or mini ATX, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm gonna have to play around with this. I do see here. There, it looks like a hack job. There is two wires here. This is like the game board here. This is Rev 5.2. This also has the key. This is the iTouch 10 like security key thing. Uh, this is missing wires. This something somebody tried to solder this and maybe jump. I would assume this is our issue. Uh, so I'm probably gonna call it here on this one, on this video here. Uh, stay tuned. JVL Orion, can I bring it back to life? This had 34,000 ticks on the on the counter. I think that's like eight grand. <laughs> uh, but yes, stay tuned. Again, Vic VP Game Case Arcades, the Orion JVL. Can I revive it?